Good morning, everybody. It's BC here, and welcome to a new day of Medieval Engineers. Uh, yes, I did have to change the day cycle. Uh, I was doing a little bit of stuff. Resources ready for today, and I do a little bit of work on the inside, and it was getting a little late. It was just touching the mountain there, and by the end of today's build, it would be dark. I also realized, too, for some reason, I only had one torch here. I have been having barbarians gather here calling it my medieval barbarian farm right now. I don't have to do anything. We just stand here and I attack the portugals. Their skulls. We got two more ready to go. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite dark in here, even though, <laughs> even though the sun's out there. That's because the castle and the tavern shadow everything. Uh, I put a couple of railings up here on the guardhouse here. Added a chest. Barrels. A couple of chests in there, too, for or whatever, just decorative purposes. And did the same with the the tavern here. Gave him a little stockpile of barrels in the back, and I even just had one laying on the side here. Someone got lazy and dropped it. Whatever. A few under the stairs here. You know, nothing much, just little things. The railing. So now I can't be lazy and jump off here. I have to actually use the stairs. The castle definitely needs more lighting on the outside. Once it's all said and done, I'll have to see what I can do about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, today I've got a bit of a project I want to work on. I had had an idea of what I was going to do about the area over the hill here. Originally I was thinking of my cemetery. Which, you know, even... Oh, every place is going to have a place to remember people. But I was... I was thinking of doing something else that's going to tie into this. I think we need to get a sanctuary going. A place for people to go and give thanks or, or whatever. Excuse me. Uh, I personally am not a religious person, but it's a part, natural part of life, just like death and eating and everything else. Uh, so I'm going to do sort of a traditional... Uh, steeple roof could be about six wide and I think between eight and ten long maybe twelve depends on where it crests with the hill we're gonna have the stage which is gonna be I'm hoping I may be able to tie it in with this hill a little bit so I don't have to do too much digging and of course we're gonna have a bell tower I had done a lot of resource gathering so I don't have to really worry about this do hammer and I am good to go this is all going to be wood, so it should go pretty quick. The seating is going to be expensive. It's going to be all hand. So I need some foundations. There's floors. We need walls. Windows. We need doors. And everything else. So, now I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this. The way it grit snaps the grid, it's going to be either too high or too low so I might have to do a little bit of a trick here I've already measured it and I can get I think it was nine right up to the hill if I start about here basically probably right about here is where I wanted to start Let's have a look and see if it, that is even straight it's hard to tell sometimes Start building the next thing you know you're six feet in closer at one end than the other. Here. I know that's what the building grid is for, but I'm not going to the building grid. I think this could work. I'm gonna go this way a little bit. Here. Two. And I've thought about it. I was originally thinking of going eight wide, but that's gonna be pretty big. Sometimes over underestimate how big things are gonna be. So that's one, two, three. I'm sorry, I can't count there. Okay, that's five. Okay. Now the question is, I think that's a little too high. Might have to dig in the ground a little bit. But anyway, that's going to be out about six wide. Probably about, about 12. 12 is right around here. It's going to be pretty big to be able to have like 60 or 80 people in it if necessary. And 
Yeah, and then uh, I'm gonna lay out the foundation, get some of this set up, and I'll bring it back and show you what I got. What I got. Okay, so here's what I got. Uh, these are the stairs you go up. There's gonna be a porch here. And then you come in, and there's gonna be area. And that's gonna go about here. I was gonna step it up, but I didn't think that it should work too well. Uh, there will be a wall here with some doors on the side, which will gain us access to the bell tower, which I decided to go a two by two instead of a one by one. Could technically make a staircase out of timbers all the way up, but that's going to be expensive and kind of cramped in a one by one, plus it'll make it symmetrical with the front doors. Uh, digging it in wasn't too bad. I did get a lot of dirt dumping on the ground here, letting it despawn. I didn't get too much that time. But now let's go ahead and start getting some walls up. Get some structure here. So I'm going to start with the doors, of course. So we're going to go uh, wall of a door and a door. Uh, yeah, we'll have them there. I think it's the only way we can do it. And probably about windows. Uh, let's put put a window here. I'm not gonna worry about shutters on these ones. I'm just gonna rob the church, right? Right. So I'm gonna go back to the windows. So you should probably figure out where this wall's gonna be too. And this should be a straight up flat wall. And it should start here. So, don't need windows up there, probably. Anything here. Right there, and then we'll have windows for the rest. So we'll just mirror that over here. More. And windows start. Windows. And that'll go up to the corner where we go back to the wall. Another window. And there we go. So that's going to be here. Get one window in. Then the roof is going to start on this side. It's going to be a peak roof. So it's probably going to be probably about to there. Bell tower, I'm going to try to get it a couple more levels up. See how well that works. Get these in. So, uh, what I will do is, well, start getting the rest of this going here. And bring it back when I have something that looks like a big building. And yeah, alright, I'll be right back. Alright, this is what I have. So this is going to be the pitch of the roof. Unfortunately, it was the only pitch of the roof that we have. But I did the front like this. Um, that's my makeshift scaffolding. And yet, I still fell down and died. And this is going to be the back side. Get rid of these. I don't use them here anymore. I found out I can actually access the roof from the ground. I guess I'll get. Then you come in through here. And then we're going to have this the bell tower going up. Uh, the roof. Uh, I think about it, those actually should be uh, walls, but I can fix that up when I start doing this up. I think I'm going to go and start putting the roof on next on this section and we'll worry about the bell tower afterwards. You have to get all my timbers back here since I won't be needing them anymore. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting the roof on. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'd like to go with the stone roof, but I think it was going to be too heavy for it. So I'm going to go ahead with the ro uh, a wood roof and pray to God that we don't have a pile of rubble by the end of the day. So yeah, uh, give me a moment and I'll be back with some interesting results. Okay, there's the roof. Uh, it's taken a little while to do this. It's taken a little longer than I thought it would. But there we go. We have a nice huge open roofed area. So nice once we start getting seating and everything else in but let's go in here and see what we can do about this tower 
went ahead and placed those out with uh, the walls. Um, I do want to have a back ex exit to the, the cemetery. Now, I'm not sure if I want to attempt to use these because we can't because we need a two block space. Or if I want to use these ones. So let's see how this one looks first. Doesn't want to place. What? I guess it won't go in here then. That is, we'll have to try to use these then. Now, where is that going? Let's see. That's a good question. What are we going to use for stairs here? Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to figure this out off camera. Do some experimenting. Uh, but yeah, I will come back when I have this big giant monolith, monolith sticking out of the back of this building. Well, I think this is what's gonna have to work. Give it off a little heat. But it's the only way I can really get the staircase going up there. Uh, I tried using the other one there and the one on number five, but in order to use that one, I have to have stuff supporting it because of the thing. Uh, the one number four I could use, but it requires a two-block space, so it takes off a bit. I'm going to have to do this. It's a little choppy going up the stairs, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to be the back en entrance here to the graveyard. Put that here. It's going to be a doorway there. It's going to be an actual door. And then other than that... I'm going to extend this, maybe two more above that, then I'll get a little perch set up with a lookout. So let me go ahead and uh, finish this up and I'll bring you back when it's done, when it's there. So right now I'm adding what I think is going to be the last level. And I just decided to show you what I'm actually doing to do this. I'm now going with scaffolding, I'm using my highly skilled wall walking ability do this. Let's just finish up those, these walls and I'll show you how I get to the next level. Uh, I've been using timbers the whole way with the staircase. It is getting really expensive. I've gone through just about all the wood that I've cut down already. It seems like the more I build in this series, the more expensive it gets. That wall wasn't cheap. I'm just, just fortunate I had all the stone made for that. But not bad. I haven't fallen on this part just on, uh, when I was doing the front section there. So I've only died once. And I was actually thinking about the cemetery. Maybe I should uh, be having just my bur burial plot. Every time I die, I go and uh, make myself a little plot. I was just going to plow the dirt a little bit. Almost like it had been dug up. Maybe use the shovel. Put a little mound and then a little monument of timbers or something. We'll see. But I'm trying to think if I want to go one more. Like it's gonna basically be a bell. So I should go downstairs and have a look. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, I think that's gonna be high enough. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna finish up the floor. Uh, the stairs are a little jittery, but they're timbers, what do you expect? a long way. I just gotta make sure I don't drop down the middle. I actually thought about putting like a diagonal timbers up as a railing. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. The problem with the diagonal timbers is uh, the cuts are opposite. So there's a cut here and a cut here. So it would in order for it to work like a banister it would have to be vertical here and a vertical here unless I try to use these ones actually have a look at these but these won't work because they're gonna go on the block itself I can't attach these to the timbers but anyways let us go back up here so now I have to get these last two wall sections in so I actually have to go up a little bit further I'm going three four five I have a as you can see a timber five so it's a half length so if 
five like that for the landing. And then do it like that. And then I'll probably come up to the floor, so I'll probably have this corner opened up. I probably could extend them, like sort of make this one a six, this one a seven, this one an eight, nine, ten. So then that way it covers up the middle, but then, you know, that's doing this every time you place something. It takes a little while when you got a lot of stuff to build. Whoa. Button. <laughs> Wrong button can kill you, so be careful. But anyways, uh, I'm going to finish this up, get a floor set up, and then... Uh, Bring it back when I have the people finished. I'm not going to show you what I got left of the wood. These were all full when I started. I've gone to make seven. Seven full stockpiles already. Make that eight. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll bring it back. Alright, so I got it all done. Uh, just heading back up there right now. I'm not going to worry about any type of bell or anything at the moment. But I have a brazier on me, and I'm just going to put the brazier up in the middle. But I've decided to just go with the door archways. I'm going to put a little timber here so I can't walk out or come down. And I did put a little bit of a platform here, so if I do walk off, at least I'll draw up there. So. Sort of a fail safe, uh, or BC safe, we'll call it. So I'll go ahead and get the razor here, and we'll just stick this in the middle somewhere here. So that way we have something up here. So now we have that. I'll probably put some torches on the walls later. But I do have some torch stands. But now we got to go work on the main area. Close that for now. And I'll probably work on that in another episode back there. But right now we need to get something in here. So I have. I have these that I made, I didn't have a lot of them, but I'm thinking we're going to put the, instead of using the, the wall torches, we'll just put a couple of these here, and probably, let's see how it is with every other one, that doesn't go there, hang on, let's see where that goes, one away. One there, and then we'll put one more here. As soon as I get that red line out of my face. I want to see how this looks for lighting. I'm willing to take the chances of uh, having suspended lighting from the ceiling. We'll see how that works, see how timbers work outside. I really don't want to have anything on these two blocks here. Tiles, rows, whatever you want to call them. Let's get a few more torches in, and then we got a... Go to spend the last of my logs to make some, some seating. Oh damn it, I put it in the wrong spot again. I did not bring it up. Only thing I don't like is it takes so long to pick stuff up sometimes. Like that, and that, and that, and I had to go back because that one didn't match the page. Yeah. They don't get very much, but I want to have basically these two free. So I need to go back over here, make the last of my logs, push that tree line back so far. It's unbelievable. All right, and get a whole bunch more of these queued up. I'm sure I've gone through 200 logs by now. Cut down so many trees. Okay. So now, um, I was thinking of trying to get a little ornate and intricate with this. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. That's going to be expensive for one. I really don't want it to get too expensive. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'll probably be putting more in afterwards. But let's go ahead back to our timber building here. Trying to figure out where I want this. Got the doors here. It's actually start this end to be a little easier. So for the back, this is going to be basically something like a, a pew. So that'll be the back. 
and the arm there, maybe. See how that looks. All right, and then. Go to the seat like that. I think I can go down one more. Let's actually try this. Down one more. Something like that. I could probably even bring it back a little bit more. See how this looks. Stop fumbling with everything. Yeah, maybe something like this. Probably this this level here. Get an idea of crouching. Sort of sitting. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna figure this out. I think I I'm gonna go with this level here. This might come down a bit more, but I'll keep the back. Probably shrink it down a little bit more and have it going from there to probably about the, the left side of this frame and then mirror it on the other side. And get maybe four or five rows and I'll bring you back when I have it all done. Okay, so well here's what I got. Uh, it used a lot of wood to make these things, but I'm sure people know that at times I've bitched and complained about that log cabin over there. This is what I got so far. Um, it sort of works, I wish it was some sort of floor covering, like carpets or something, but I'm sure that's going to be in the future, with many things we can do. Uh, with the updates, the weird lighting glitch up there. Oh, early access. Now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Maybe I'll just, oh, yeah, I got to go eat. Got to go get crops planted again, we're out of food. Meeting basically what's left on the tables right now. See if there's any goulash around. Goulash in here. There we go. Yeah, this is basically what you see here. It's just like one of everything would be out of food. But there is our sanctuary. Not looking too bad. Uh, unfortunately, it's being shut out by the castle right now. But we have another episode or two. Long, a couple of long builds ought to get the sun out of the way. Or the shadow out of the way. That's what we got. It's not bad. Now let me see if I can quickly throw something together inside here. I don't really want to use the furniture. I want to try to use, do more building out of this if I can. Um, obviously the resource gathering is going to be crazy by the time I'm done this kingdom. I'm going to have cleared out every single tree in the Faerion region. But, let me see what I can come up with and I'll bring it back when I got something. Okay, we are finally done. Now I'm thinking about it now, uh, when I was building this tower, I should have had the, panel, the walls on the inside. Because on the other side, they're pure white. Board here. But, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay, but I went ahead and put a railing out here. I've got some torches everywhere. Uh, this is what I got for the podium. You know. Not much I could really do. I was trying to work a small table in here, but for some reason it would only go this way. Even if I had the timbers going this way, it still only wanted to snap this way for some reason. But I got the flag up there. Got a few extra torches. Not. And yeah, and then on the back side here, I sort of had like tapered in staircase on either way, so you go up, and then at least you're high enough so everybody can see it. And then again, we have the tower in the back. A long way up. I don't know what I was thinking when I was built built this. I must have had bats in my belfry. Oh, that was close. That was close. Yeah. Gotta hug the wall. Gotta hug the wall. Right. Here we are at the top. And wow, something. Oh, is this actually taller than the castle now? Is this our new tallest building in the in the, the kingdom? I gotta go take a look at this. Uh, no, let's not look there. Let's go over here. No, no, the castle still got it beat. I think. 
All right, let's go back. So yeah, that's gonna be yeah. That was quite the project. I don't know how many hours I spent working on this. I think it's been four, four and a half hours or something like that. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Later.